Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we will be looking at social support as an explanation of resistance to social influence which you need to know for AQA level psychology in the subtopic of social influence. I hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful. Let's get started. Social support is an explanation of resistance to social influence and an external, situational, factor, which suggests that defiance, resistance, disobedience and nonconformity is more likely to occur in the presence of others who are resisting. Seeing others disobey and not conform gives observer confidence to do the same. In the context of obedience, Having a disobedient role model can increase the likelihood that an individual will disobey as this challenges the legitimacy of the authority figure. In the context of conformity having an ally, someone else who supports their point of view, can increase the likelihood that an individual will not conform as this breaks unanimity of the group in conformity situations. Social support is associated with diffusion of responsibility, as the more people who disobey the less severe the consequences are likely to be. Social support has several strengths and limitations. A strength of social support as an explanation of resistance to social influence is that there is research to support the idea that social support can help an individual to resist conformity. In one of Asker's 1951 variations, one of the Confederates was instructed to give the correct answer throughout. In this variation, the rate of conformity dropped to 5%. This demonstrates that if the real participant has support for their belief, social support, then they are more likely to resist the pressure to conform. This is a strength because it suggests that having support for one's beliefs can significantly enhance an individual's ability to resist conformity. The research findings, such as Asker's 1951, variation where a confederate consistently provided the correct answer, highlight how social support can empower individuals to maintain their independent thinking and resist the influence of group pressure to conform. A strength of social support as an explanation of resistance to social influence is that there is research to support the idea that social support can help an individual to disobey. Milgram's variations, the rate of obedience dropped from 65% to 10% when the genuine participant was joined by a disobedient confederate. The participant may not follow the disobedient person's behavior, but the point is that the other person's disobedience acts as a model for the participant to copy that frees him to act from his own conscience. This is a strength because it suggests that having the support and example of a disobedient individual can empower others to act against authority and follow their own conscience. The presence of a disobedient model can significantly influence individuals to defy norms and question established authority highlighting the impact of social support in fostering independent thinking and actions. A strength of social support as an explanation of resistance to social influence is that there is research to suggest that social support can have a positive effect in everyday social situations. Susan Albrecht et al., 2006, evaluated Teen Fresh Start USA an eight-week program to help pregnant adolescents aged 14 to 19 resist peer pressure to smoke. Social support was provided by a slightly older mentor or buddy. At the end of the program adolescents who had a buddy were significantly less likely to smoke than a control group of participants who did not have a buddy. This is a strength because it suggests that having a supportive figure, like a mentor or buddy, can significantly impact behavior positively, as seen in the research by Albrecht et al., 2006. The study's findings highlight how social support can effectively help individuals resist negative influences, such as peer pressure to smoke, highlighting the importance of supportive relationships in promoting healthier choices and behaviors. A strength of social support as an explanation of resistance to social influence is that there is research to support the role of dissenting peers in resisting obedience. William Gamson et al.'s 1982 Participants were told to produce evidence that would be used to help an oil company run a smear campaign. The researchers found higher levels of resistance in their study than Milgram did in his. This was probably because the participants were in groups so could discuss what they were told to do. 29 out of 33 groups of participants, 88%, rebelled against their orders. This is a strength because it suggests that having dissenting peers' support can be a powerful factor in resisting obedience and undermining the legitimacy of an authority figure. 
A strength of social support as an explanation of obedience is that there is research to support the idea that social support can help an individual to resist the influence of a group. Vernon Allen and John Levine, 1971, conducted an ASK-type task study, where the dissenter was someone with apparently good eyesight, 64% of genuine participants refused to conform. When there was no supporter at all only 3% of participants resisted. This is a strength because it suggests that having a supportive figure can greatly assist individuals in resisting group influence. The research highlights the crucial role of social support in empowering individuals to maintain their independence and make decisions based on their own judgment rather than succumbing to group pressure. However, the study also showed that social support does not always help a person to resist social influence. In the condition where the dissenter had obviously poor eyesight, wore thick glasses, resistance was only 36%. This indicates that the social support offered needs to be deemed valid in order to cause major resistance. This is a limitation because it suggests that the effectiveness of resisting social influence through support can be influenced by factors such as the credibility or perceived competence of the supporting individual, as demonstrated in the study by Vernon Allen and John Levine, 1971. The variation in resistance rates depending on the characteristics of the dissenter highlights the nuanced nature of social support in challenging group conformity. Research has found that response order is also an important factor in gaining social support. Allen and Levine, 1969, compared two conditions where in one condition a Confederate answered correctly first followed by all the other Confederates answering incorrectly. The real participant always answered last. In the second condition the Confederate answered second to last before the real participant answered and all the other Confederates answered incorrectly. They found support was significantly higher for the Confederate in the first condition than the second and they concluded this was because an initial first response produces a commitment to the correct answer which endures even if others disagree highlighting how response order can affect resistance to social influence. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye.